Which of our local coffees we No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? <laughs> Woo! Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Stay here in town. Those direwolves can rip your anus apart in mere seconds. You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, American money. The current exchange rate is 1.24 to the dollar. 
Come back soon. Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. <laughs> Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour. Or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. It's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Oh, hail the prince and princess of Canada! Hail! Yeah! Tour is narrated by Brian Adams. Sorry, Gary, I'm on duty. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Princess Queef twice when she met you. That is a great honor. Hold it right there. Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I would have picked a 5 by 7 
Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? You know what Winnipeg is known for? But neither do we. Lumberjacking's dangerous work. What with all these diapers around? Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with diabares? Tell you what, kill off all the diabares in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. Glad you got to fight diabares and not me. This poor citizen was killed by a diabare. You know what a diabare is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dying. I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. Sometimes my dad goes on road trips just to check out all the rest stops. I can finally make a diarrhoe. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diarrhoe in all of Canada. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Is he dead yet? Do you have the Bishop's balls? Oh, these are indeed troubling times.
festival of the, well, of the Knights of Can Hardiness. Newfoundland, you won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Canadians are quite religious. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin!
my neighbor. I shall turn the other cheek. Feel my righteous fury. I know violence doesn't solve anything, but I kind of like it. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. If we replace his balls with the pig balls, he'll come back to life again. You. Shh. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh. You. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. I will mourn him for a long time to come. Films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Hockey is quickly becoming the world's 11th most popular sport. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to Vancouver, the San Diego of Canada. They say that the Duke earned his title by winning a log roll with the last Duke. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Uh -huh. No, I haven't seen that show as a kid. Princess? What the? Why, of 
According to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. The Duke of Vancouver is a very busy man. Someday maybe I'll be Duke of Vancouver. I accept your salute. <laughs> Everyone is talking about Tans. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Maybe you should see a doctor. <laughs> he knows Dragon Shout. Any magician's apprentice can Dragon Shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fares? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls.
Hello? Asuko! Vous avez besoin de quelque chose de tradout? Ok! C'est là, c'est tradout, pas c'est là. C'est là, c'est tradout, pas c'est là. Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup!
Don't you hold on Mostly. They say that every time a princess quaffs, another angel is born. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable! Thanks, new kid! We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors! Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her! I love you guys so much! We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You certainly as well, new kid! So you have our services! Tell the boys we will play their game! I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops. I almost forgot you're not a girl. Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. We should be friends so you can like my posts. I learned that betrayal can actually make your friendship stronger. And it's all... As an honorary girl, you've been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? the other boys. Like, you aren't even gross. You're totally hot. The girls will be ready to help you whenever you need us. Yeah. 